Hello, hello, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel for the love of. If you're joining me for the first time, I wanna say welcome and thank you for taking the time to click on, yes, yet another Bath & Body Works slash White Barn Candle Review. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, as always, you guys, welcome on back. Hope you're all doing well. As I've been saying, I know everybody's into full-on fall candle review season right now. Today's video is gonna be no exception. I am so excited to review this for you guys. So obviously we're gonna be reviewing the fall 2020 version of Fall Farmhouse. This is of course in a white barn label. Before I dive into the review and the scent notes, I do just wanna mention and take a second to show how beautiful this packaging is. This is from the, I believe, it's called the Warm Welcome Collection. Um, one of my subscribers had mentioned that and commented that. I believe that's what it's called, Warm Welcome Collection. If you guys are interested in any other fragrances from this particular collection, this really pretty leaf wraparound collection, I do have two other reviews up. I have Pumpkin Bonfire, that's also from this collection, and then I have Apple Weather, which is also from this leaf wraparound Warm Welcome Collection. I'll throw the pictures up on the screen of those video titles if you guys are interested. The interesting thing that I find about Fall Farmhouse is on Bath & Body Works website, it actually says online exclusive. However, I'm having a few of my subscribers already mentioned that they've seen this in store. So I, I don't know if it's only select stores, maybe it's the larger white barn stores um, that actually get in the online exclusives. As far as I know, this one's the majority of it is available online, which I was really surprised by because this scent was actually pretty popular last year. I believe this was a new fragrance, a new fragrance last year, and I absolutely fell in love with it. All right, now as always, before I dive into the review and performance on this candle, let's start off with the scent notes. I'll throw them up on the screen. The scent notes for Fall Farmhouse include Spice Pumpkin, Forest Pine Branch, and Fresh Fall Air, and then of course, Essential Oils. What do I get from this fragrance? Um, if you guys have not used last year's version or you're not familiar with it, this is a classic rustic fragrance. Um, it's beautiful. It's got, it's warm. It's got a bit of a warmth without being like a spicy warm. It's got a very warm woodsy vibe to it without being overly outdoorsy. If you're not a fan of like pine tree type scents, this this does not have like a pine tree type vibe, even though it says pine branch. It's more of like the actual branch itself than like a pine needle, a fir needle. It's very woodsy, very, very rustic. When you think of like, if you're walking into like a lodge or you're walking into like an old barn house and you're smelling like the wood and the warmth, um, maybe a little bit of that kind of um, coolish air. That's what this smells like. Really beautiful scent. Um, this is one of those ones I will buy time and time again. It's definitely a fragrance for cooler weather. I, I'm burning this obviously right now to test it out. This one I'm not planning on busting out until probably like mid-September till the weather starts to cool off. Um, this is not, at least in my opinion, not a transitional scent at all but it's really really beautiful. Into the throw. So I've had this going in an open room um, I actually didn't even attempt to put this in a smaller room because I know off the bat, I knew off the bat, it was gonna be a stronger fragrance. So one to 10, 10 of course being the strongest. In an open room, this is like a solid eight. Um, seven and a half, eight, depending on the placement. It's noticeable, it's there. I feel like if you have any other scents going, this might overpower it. Um, it's not that it's intense in the way of say like a pumpkin pecan waffles or a summer boardwalk is like in your face intense. Um, this has a really beautiful, smooth, noticeably strong warmth to it. If you're not a pumpkin fan, don't let that spice pumpkin note throw you off. I don't get like a full on pumpkin scent. This doesn't have like a pumpkin puree or anything like that. If you're going off just the set notes, you kind of see that pumpkin and then you see like pine branch and <sighs> If I was just going off scent notes, I probably wouldn't pick this candle up just because the two of those sound like such an odd combination. So I do just wanna mention that don't let the notes throw you off. It's just a beautiful rustic fragrance um, and it has a really good throw and the scent carries. Uh, at least in, in my house, I'm noticing that it's kind of wafting into the other rooms. The overall performance, obviously the candle is really pretty, really pretty jar. 
So I just lit this up about maybe 25 minutes ago for filming purposes. It's not fully pulled out yet, but I didn't have any issues. If I let this go for another 15 minutes or so, that would be fully pulled out. Um, didn't have any issues on that. The wicks, they aren't overly mushroom toppy. I did trim them before I started filming though, just because they did curl, or not curl in, they did just get a little bit of residue. The wicks are kind of semi-sturdy. They're not the super, super thin wicks that curl in and kind of break off. They also aren't the insanely mushroom toppy rope-like wicks. I think these are the standard ones. I should have looked to have seen if these have like that little piece of metal in the center of them. Um, I think that's what kind of wicks this particular version has. So this also tends to burn very quickly. This one pulls out fairly quickly. You're gonna start smelling the fragrance very quickly. I had to keep an eye on this one just because at the two and a half hour mark, the wax pool was pretty deep and I just didn't want it to get burnty or icky or anything like that. So just keep an eye on this one. I will throw the batch number up on the screen, but I know that some of you are saying this is trickling in stores and online. So I do want to get you guys the batch number. I'm going to start to try to do that more often just so you guys can see what batch I'm reviewing. You guys, would I purchase this candle again? Yes, absolutely. And if you have not tried this and you like rustic fragrances, you love those quintessential, cozy, cool weather, fall fragrances, absolutely give this one a try. This is probably one of my favorite fall fragrances. Um, it's kind of in a lane of its own. It's not a pumpkin scent. It's not really an apple scent. It's just a beautiful rustic fall fragrance. And if you haven't tried it and you enjoy those type of scents, I would absolutely purchase this one. If you have used a fall farmhouse, whether you've used this year's version or last year's version, leave it in the comments below and let me know what your thoughts are. Before I sign off, I do also want to mention I'm on Instagram. So if you guys are on there, come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H underscore letter L. I use my Instagram to um, post a lot of upcoming videos, purchases, hauls, vendor wax, things like that. So if you're on there, come find me. And you guys, that is it for me today. As always, I hope you're having an awesome day, an awesome evening, weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. And until next time, we'll see you later.